here. Good morning, guys. Another day in beautiful Iceland and on to our next adventure that is Ice Cave. So I've actually never done that before. So it's going to be fun, especially in this rain. We have to drive a little bit over mountains and off roads and stuff. It's going to be a fun journey. I don't know if you've seen the Batman movie with Frost, where Frosty was living. He was living like in an ice area. It's where Arnold Schwarzenegger is uh, Frosty. That's what I'm expecting, like his home. <laughs> It's very hard to be a professional athlete and taking time off, like now I'm going somewhere in the middle of country where there's not a gym or anything, so I have to bring equipment with me, I have to food prep for the whole trip. You make the best out of the situation and I'm happy that I could get some training in. Yesterday we came back after a long day and it took me like an hour to start training because I was like, oh, maybe I should just go to sleep and rest. And, be more like um, have energy tomorrow then I'm like no my goal is to be the best so I have to train it's been a tight schedule but it's always fun I love it when there's a lot to do and you almost don't have time to think you just have to do Ooh. now we have to put on off-road now we're going off-road we're going to the mountains over there off-road is my favorite road to drive it's just like you have to stay so focused and it's like a bump and yeah, it's just so much fun. You're driving in the middle of nowhere. Like you can see there's just like mountains of sand and grass around us. Oh, look at this. have all these modes on the car and you have like race mode if you want to go super fast super quick you have echo modes comfort normal sports individual off-road and then snow So we're about to enter the ice cave now. We're walking in this beautiful nature. It's very dramatic here. It's like black sand, ice cube, or like, like glaciers with like blue color. It's snowing. We have all the mountains and then we have like a little bit of sunlight. Top of the mountains, it's just, you don't see this kind of nature anywhere else than in Iceland. It's unreal. You get so much power from the nature. This is just unreal, like waterfalls in that glacier, it's just like how beautiful. It changes every day because the ice melts, so it's a different waterfall each day. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's insane, this beauty, like the colors. It's like mint, but it's so dark, and you see like the sun is coming here, and then you look over there and it's just like, clouds over the mountains and like dark but yeah unreal okay so we're back on the road and we're going to our next location today which is called the black beach or in icelandic Reynisfjara. it's a very famous place to go they have like these crazy rocks called stuðlagir around the beach or in the cliffs around the beach and then the waves on the beach are also amazing so it's going to be very beautiful There's actually a story behind uh, the sculpture of these stones uh, in my family. So my grandpa, uh, he died when my mom was two years old and he owned a fishing boat that was called Stuhleberg and that's the name of these stones here. So uh, we have that in our driveway or where I grew up that my dad made. So this is uh, one of my favorite spots. It has a, has a story behind it. 
So we are now at our final location of this amazing Icelandic trip. This waterfall is very special because you can actually walk behind it. That's a different experience. And if you love rain, you'll love this waterfall because it feels like it's raining on you while you're close to it. So guys, this was our last location for the Icelandic trip. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, check out the other links, but I have to run now, so thank you. Oh, This view is just amazing. So beautiful. It's insane this beauty, like the colors. You can see like it's very dramatic down here. It's so powerful. Volkswagen.